Welcome to North Gwinnett Bulldogs. I know it's a weird start to the year. I know a lot of you haven't been able to come on campus and kind of see how things are. So I'm Miss Baker, I'm gonna be your tour guide. Normally I'd have students doing this, but you're stuck with me. So we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna kind of show you maybe how you would get around campus, hopefully make you feel a little bit better before you get here. So remember, as we go inside, we gotta put on a mask. All right, come on Bulldogs, let's go inside. All right, hey guys, so I'm in the bus lane. This is where you're gonna start your day. You're either gonna get dropped off by a bus or you're gonna get dropped off by your folks after 645 and you're gonna enter the building in one of these two ways or you might have a trailer, but I don't think you're going to. So if your trailers are 21 through 31, you'll be out here, but I think everybody's inside as ninth graders. So come on inside, we'll keep seeing where the rest of your day goes. You're gonna go all the way down and you're gonna enter the building. All right, you are in the main entry hall. You came from the bus lane or from the commons. This is Mr. Valentine's office. Right over here is the CLC, which is our media center, and the main stairway up to the second and third floors. We're gonna show you that in a minute, but this is the main crossing entryway. A really big thing is that normally we would have time and you'd be able to kind of meet and mingle with people. Remember now, we're social distance. So every time you're traveling through a big space like this, you gotta keep moving and you gotta Stay away from folks, give each other your space. All right, keep coming. All right, so you've gotten into school, maybe it's before classes have started. You're gonna come on into the commons, and when you get into the commons, you will sit social distanced. So you'll notice my lovely models here are sitting social distanced. They are facing one direction, and they are sitting two seats apart. And what you'll see is there are X's on the seats that allow you to know where to sit. So when you come into the commons, whether it's lunch or before school, you'll have to sit social distance facing one way on the X's. All right, so lunch, because we have to maintain social distancing, you're gonna have half of your lunch here in the commons. Ninth graders, you're gonna eat first half. So you'll eat in social distancing here in the commons. The second half of your lunch, you have a choice. You can go to the theater for a silent study hall or you can go to the auxiliary gym, still sitting social distancing, but a little bit more social. You can have your earbuds in, you can be listening to music, you can be chatting with a friend. So remember, the front half, you'll be eating lunch here in the commons, and this is really the only place you should be eating because we want to be able to keep our masks on. So lunch and then a silent or a social study hall. All right, so I'm in the commons, and if you need to buy lunch, you're gonna get in line at the lunch lines behind me. You'll notice that there are X's on the floor that show social distancing. So remember, we always have to keep six feet or social distance away from each other, even when we buy our food at the lunch line. They're gonna be giving you a little barcode, so everything is gonna be touchless, and everything is grab and go, so you won't have to wait. Everything will be prepackaged. So if you wanna buy lunch, the food's great. I actually eat here a lot. If you don't want to sit inside during lunch, you can actually come outside into the courtyard. You notice we have a lot of picnic tables. Please remember you shouldn't be facing each other. You should be sitting apart. You still have to keep social distancing, but sitting outside is an option at lunch as well. All right, so if you have on your schedule trailers 32 through 38, those are out here, out back by the field house behind the commons. So this is where you'd come for those classes. All right. This is our CLC, it's our media center. So when you come on in here, you'll notice that they also have created social distancing. Our computers, our tables, everything is set up that you will sit a certain distance away from people. 
You can come to the CLC in the morning. You can come to the CLC during lunchtime, but know that you can't come in here if there's a class. So notice that our chairs are far apart and you can only sit where the chairs are. Mr. Stewart, are you here? There he is. This is Mr. Stewart. He's our media specialist. He is awesome. He and Miss Bramlett will be here to help you out. You can check out books. Um, this is a great place to come, but remember you gotta keep social distance and masks on all the time inside. We're on the second floor. So beneath me is 100 hall classrooms. This is 200 and above me is the 300 uh, hall classrooms. But right here in the 200 hall are some important things. A lot of our ninth grade language arts classes are down one hallway here. We have our ninth grade office. This is where our ninth grade counselors, Miss Burton and Miss Mills Barber live. So you can make an appointment with them. And then down this long hallway are most of our ninth grade sciences. So our biology teachers are here on this floor. So most likely you're going to have a class on the 200 hall floor. All right, welcome to the third floor. This is where our Charge North program is, is located. So if you're part of the Charge North program, you'll be in these hallways for your Charge programs, and then you'll be out on campus for the rest of the day. We also have a bunch of other classes up here. I, Ninth graders, you may or may not be up here, maybe for a math class. All right, we're in our main lobby. This is our front desk area. We have Ms. Schuler and Ms. Baraban, and they are awesome helps to us. Um, but this is where you come if you check in, if you're late to school. That's the main entrance to the school. You might get dropped off there if you're super early in the morning but hopefully you won't. From this point, you can enter into the art hallway if you have an art class, or if you go all the way down this hallway, this is where our 400 classrooms are. Some of our language arts teachers and most of our digital technology teachers are down that hallway. So this is an important place to know. The other big thing, when you go down this hallway, our clinic is the next door down, and then you go down a little bit ways further and you'll see our counseling office. That's an important place to know as well. But I'm gonna show you, ninth graders, you have a special office to go to for counselors. So this is our main crossing point as entry. All right, so I am in the hallway, it's the 400 hall hallway. This is the other side of the art hallway, and I'm standing in front of our dog house, which is our school store. Um, you can shop here for cool gear and some snacks and some other things. Or if you keep going by, you're going to get to the other side of the commons area lobby. So come on. auxiliary gym and the band pass through. So that's going to be a tight spot for us in our traveling around campus. I would always consider alternate routes. You can always go around back behind the commons or you can go in the front by the front entrance. So just consider alternate routes. 
here in the courtyard, you can um, pass through, you can social distance if you have a little bit of time. Um, but remember that our goal is, as we're transitioning around campus, that you really keep your distance and you keep moving. So behind me is what we call the two-story. That's where our six, seven, eight, and 900 hall classes are. And down, if you keep going, the next building is our gym, and then the last building is our theater. All right, we just came into the two-story, and what that means is on this top floor, we have the 800 hall and the 900 hall classrooms. You might have a foreign language up here. Um, most of our Spanish teachers are on this hallway. And downstairs, we have our 600 and our 700 hall classrooms. You might have a social studies class. You might have a math class. Uh, you might have French. Oh, and uh, German and Latin are also in this building at the end of the hallway in the 900 hall. So this is what we call the two-story, six, seven, eight, and 900 hall classrooms. dance and ROTC are, you're going to go down these steps across the crosswalk and into what we call the senior lot. Your parents are going to be either parked in a spot or they're going to be lined up around in the car rider pickup line. You cross to your parents, your parents stay put until they have you in the car and then you guys go out through the center lane. Parents, the only way to leave is to turn right out of that lane. So this is the end of our tour. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope it helps you kind of get your feel for North. We're excited to see you and we'll see you soon.